defense attorney Brian Claypool, who joins us now live in Los Angeles. Brian, good day to you. So this autopsy report could be delivered uh, to the state's attorney as early as tomorrow. What would you want to learn from that report? Well, I'll tell you what's going to be in that report, George. You're going to find three vertebrae in the back of Freddie Gray severed. And th what that tells me, and I've been in the trenches, by the way, George, for the last 10 years dealing with these cases out here in, in Southern California. And what that autopsy report is going to tell you is that Freddie Gray could not have sustained three severed vertebrae without blunt force trauma. And it's got to be consistent trauma pressed on his back. So. Let's get rid of this mythical, magical Houdini act that the police department released today suggesting that Freddie Gray somehow intentionally harmed himself. This medical examiner's report will completely belie that because it's not physically or medically possible for Freddie Gray to sustain three severed vertebrae in the back of that jailhouse van. And shame on whoever released this information today. And you're talking about that information uh, from uh, WJLA there uh, in, in D.C. Uh, about his injury. Uh, what, what more would you say about that information that, that was apparently leaked? Well, the, first of all, the information leaked is irresponsible because it, it suggests that it, it reaches a, a far-fetched conclusion based on no, no facts, George. It's suggesting that Freddie was trying to harm himself. And there's absolutely no evidence of that. And that's why I said a couple days ago that either you release all of the information, release the entire investigative report now for the people to assimilate and filter, or don't release anything. But what, what this is telling me is somebody is trying to orchestrate a, a theory that might support the proposition that Freddie harmed himself. And that is, 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 is what's triggering even more uh, outrage, not only uh, there in Baltimore, but Philadelphia. And by the way, here in Los Angeles on Saturday, George, we're having a, a protest in front of City Hall. And protests in many cities. Uh, Brian, you know, uh, there was also some more information that, that was released about this second undocumented stop. Uh, but it seems to, to raise more questions. Police didn't have any further details on it except that there was another stop. What do you make of it? Yeah, yeah George, let's talk about that. Because there, there, there is another way that these police officers can be indicted in Maryland. They can be indicted for what's called criminal negligence based on a failure to perform a do, an act or duty that they're legally obligated to perform. So let's let's give them the police a benefit of the doubt. Let's say they didn't bust up Freddie Gray's spine. I think they did. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. They should still be indicted because they threw this man in the van and they knew he was screaming in despair and in pain. And they, they, they traveled for 25 to 30 minutes. I saw in Anderson Cooper, George, that whole route that, that these, these cops did, they did a whole square with, like this, a whole square with Freddie in the back of that van. And when they first put him in that van, they were only a few minutes away from that police station. They should have immediately uh, called for medical help. And there was a second stop that we didn't know about. What does that tell us? Well, surprise, surprise, somebody in the police department is hiding that information from us. And now we need to know what happened during that second stop. Was there an altercation with the police and Freddie in the back of the van during that second stop? And then what about the third stop? Why then is Freddie asking for medical aid? Is he, is he hurt even further by the officers? And why wasn't medical aid rendered? That's a constitutional violation and that's criminal negligence in my mind and there should be an indictment, George. And I don't even think we need any more evidence because this case has enough evidence as we see it right now for a criminal indictment. Well, Brian, it's fair to say, though, that uh, we, we don't know all the answers right now, but we are getting you know, a lot of new information, and it raises a lot of questions and some fair points that you've brought out. Uh, Brian Claypool, we appreciate your insights there live in Los Angeles. Thanks, George.